Hey there guys, it's me, Creep and Jay, and uh, welcome back to Cherry Witched. So the last video was um, barbaric, to say the least. So we're going to um, try to uh, not go that route for now. Where is this place? You know the little teeny tiny room I like to call the Slice and Dice Room. The fact that I actually like that name says more about me than it does the game. But don't worry, sweetie pie, there'll be no slicing nor dicing here today. Then why bring me here? Well, you're getting really close to solving your case, you see. My friends have been keeping tabs on you. They're going to take you, take care of you themselves, but... Well... I may have just convinced them to have a little chat with you instead. To try and bring you on to our side. What? You've always been my favorite custom incurring. Being my little friend group is a necessity for me, which brought me us here. You were always kind. I was able to get an old witch. You, because you're a creepy lady. That's all I want. <coughs> <coughs> now you're the first, the only. My one and only. Yes. This girl absolutely lost her mind. Yeah, we covered that. I'm flattered, but... Uh, yeah, you should probably be more careful. Clash is a lot. I'm sure I'll find out that I'm clashing as much as you think. Organization that carries out the spider witch council. Alright. <sighs> yep. Yep, okay. This thing. A bloody pie themed circular saw. Yikes. The most eye catching thing in this room is by far how to be the operating table. The disgusting mess of blood smeared over it proved to show how sloppy Cherry was with her work. So it's true. All those witches really did die by Cherry's hands. I doubt they went peacefully. Poor souls. Operating, yep. What is this thing? I've seen one of these before. They're magic cooling shelves. Chan has been using them to keep the body parts cool. She cleaned off the blood, I wonder why. Curious, I stepped closer to observe the dismembered being. It's a doll? Why not such a gruesome doll? <sighs> oh, God. Why have such a gruesome doll on a cooling shelf? Ugh, it's the same thing. So we looked in here, so we know what's in there. I have a doll arm, a pair of doll legs. I need something about how to put them back in place. Not yet. I can't open that, okay. So I guess I'll do it. Yay! Focus on escape. My top priority should be finding my communicator. Anyone else trapped in here will get rescued too. Walking through the door leading out of there, I find myself what looks like a cherry themed wedding room. Odd, what on earth do you need a wedding room for? I couldn't get the sound- I couldn't- I couldn't get the sound of crying out of my ears, even though I was far away from where I first heard it. I felt guilty. Did I really do the right thing? It was not I'm doing right. An echo in my brain, getting louder and louder. Gurk my pointed ears, I desperately tried to get the noises out of my head. Just stop it! I'm doing everything I can. My feet stumbled over themselves, amidst my panic, however, I was able to quickly catch myself on the cherry-themed lamp. Click. Lamp made a noise. He's found a fear that I broke it. A rumbling sound came from the wall, made me aware that the lamp was designed to be a switch. Oh! I was not at the hole in the wall where the painting once stood. Normally, I'd use my magic to detect any trapped or triggers. But seeing as I don't have any of that now, hesitantly, I crawled through the tight space. I paused my crawl for a moment. 
hearing peculiar noises from the other sides of the wall. Ugh. Sloshing to the animalistic like noises tearing into something. Oh hi, Mrs. Hi. Oh. Chili pie? <laughs> I know I shouldn't. I made just a few more bites. I don't know what the feeling lasts longer. Flesh, blood. This smell is so strong it filled my senses even from all the way back here. Ugh. I feel so refreshing, it's so perfect. Bless the beginners for revigorating my soul. Bless the beginners? Sarah wasn't eating a meat pie. She was consuming a witch hole. Nucleus and all from the sound. Ugh! Laughter reverberated throughout the entire building. Um. Oh my, what a mess. I have to clean all this up before I see my beloved again. <laughs> I wouldn't want to scare her. It's a bit too late for that, buddy. So I was trying to love to clean herself up. With that, I continued clawing my way through, through. Feeling more uneasy than before. A secret room with a lone file cabinet in the middle. Indiana Jones, anybody? There could be useful information in there. I have to look through it. Rummaging through the file cabinet, I found some peculiar notes. From the beginning, there were seven SEVEN! The answer must be seven. There were seven witches. The witches of fire, water, land, artisans, war, mind, and heart. These witches were called the beginners. The beginners held immense magical power and paved the way for all witch kind to flourish. They eventually formed into a group they, that call themselves the Council of Witches. They are able to split off parts of themselves in order to create new witches, and thus the sharing of magic energy became known. Even when the beginners expired one by one, the Council of Witches continued forth in their honor. The energy still lives on within all of us, after all, in the form of our nucleus. The magical nucleus is the most powerful part of every witch. Harvesting these nuclei nuclei and adding it to our own is a direct guarantee to everlasting life. So long as we keep harvesting, we will be everlasting. Ugh, what a sicko. From the beginning, there were seven witches. Ah, uh, yeah, I read this. I don't care. There's so much more in here, but I should be getting the hell out of here. What am I doing? What should I do? Read more, I suppose. There might be something important on here. More secret base locations, dangerous plans, I could... I have to keep digging. I pulled out another page from the cabinet. Report 16 slash X. The council may be having another competition to choose new members in the next few cycles. The representatives of the land and the mind are growing order older. Perfect for harvesting. Oh, if we can arrange such a feat. Everlaster Trape, I suggested, recruiting the Mines Division Investigator Inquiry into our ranks. We were allowing her to attempt communication within a controlled environment. If successful, we may be able to use her to harvest the land and mind representatives nuclei. This... this is bad. An assassination attempt on one of the council members? I frantically dug through the door once more. Top secret! If you're reading this, that means you are a member of our preparation committee. It is important... It is imperative that this document not leave your eyes. Our scientific specialists in Everlasting have found substances within the witch's nuclei to be heavily addictive once ingested. We must take caution not to let the others know until we can find a way to counterbalance its urges. If they find out, it may cause an uproar. This being said, be careful to monitor your own intake. Member cherry pies, pie slices have been the easiest cover to both prevent suspicion and keep daily intake to a minimum. Suggest to anyone who seems to be displaying erratic behavior only one pie slice a day until the urge to subside. It is it's getting worse. The everlasting is growing this powerful. The very magical balance of our universe could be at stake. We're already on the brink of a magical energy crisis. Taking, taking in too much for all yourself is destined to doom the balance of our world. Of course, these 
the stores. Wouldn't to know that. That explains Cherry's erratic behavior. All she cares about is getting her next fix. She's not entirely there. Well, there she is! Right? I like my head. The sang of conscious, I felt a sharp pain in my knees. Mine was foggy. My limbs felt more numb than ever. What? What's going on? What happened to me? Muffled, feminine laughter echoed in my ears. Splotches of red and reds and browns came into my vision. Those mutilated colors soon took form to create a deranged young woman hovering over me. I jolted back, or at least tried to. My arms seemed to be strained by something. Is she covered in blood? Nope. Good morning, sleepyhead. Or right, good afternoon. <laughs> my speech slurred as I tried to scream out. I wanted to be muffled by a blood soaked hand. Ooh. Now, now. So, ow, I just bit my lip. Now, now. Screaming won't work. So don't even try it. You really broke my heart there, Sugar Pie. Why did you run away like that and sneak through my things? I thought you loved me too. Was I too scary? Too forward? I wanted to do this right. <laughs> what am I saying? Yeah, I'm talking now. Silly me. There's no use fretting over the past, anywho. All I can do is try to protect our future together. Oh, speaking of protecting our future, you may notice your lack of legs. <laughs> I strolled to move my hand, my head up from what I never realized was a sort of operating table. Looking down confirmed confirm Trey's words. I was unhappily greeted by the sight of lightless nubs wrapped in crimson gauze. All I could utter out in my sedated state were groans and numbs of discomfort. My legs. God damn it. How am I going to get out of this now? Is there any way out of this? Hey, Nash, your pie. There's really no need to fret. If, if you're like this, I can protect you more. They were last wanted to kill you. But I'm saving you. Like how you saved me. Oh, how poetic. If you ran away, you would have been dead for sure. We just can't have that. Besides, it's not like your legs will go to waste. Go to waste? No, she couldn't mean. Oh my! The most delicious addition to a pie ever created. I wanted this to be special. You're going to become one with me at long last. It's a dream come true. Whoopsies. Okay, so you press spacebar to hide it, okay. Interesting. God. What a freak. This meat, it's so special. Normally, I'd use my slice and dicer for dismemberment, but I wanted to stay with the moment as much as possible, so I use it both sides instead. Shoot, I may cut off your hands while I'm at it. Haha. <laughs> that way you won't go sniffing around again. Decisions, decisions, how's it going to choose? My darling, you're going to be delicious. Cannibal addict. That's just sick. Um, well, I suppose I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.